My work has always been driven by the underlying question of what shapes us into who we are. When created, we are each a blank canvas, with no preconceptions and a future of infinite possibilities. It is once we are born and grow that invisible layers begin to burden our identities. Countless factors contribute to the development of our person. Nature versus nurture relates to the relative importance of an individual's innate qualities as compared to an individual's personal experience. Arguably, we have no control over many of the elements that fall into either category, but what interests me is the innate attributes we possess that shine through and are strengthened by genetic determinism and environmentalism retrospectively. Working with children of all ages and abilities in sports clubs and in schools has allowed me to see firsthand how these attributes are evident in us from a young age, and in particular how environmental influences shape the development of personality and behaviour. Questioning my own identity has occurred alongside my artistic practice. The school workshops I have participated in have brought together the two passions, namely art and sport, which have been most influential in shaping who I am. Usually considered worlds apart, the two disciplines are more related than you may think. Our minds learn from our bodies, and when the mind and body are engaged together, people feel fulfilled. Both art and sport relate to the creative force that is in each of us. Over the last few years, I have been creating work which unites my art with my participation in bobsleigh. This year, I was selected to compete for the Great British Bobsleigh Team in North America and Europe. This experience, alongside the completion of my degree, has been challenging but incredible. Whilst away, I was driven to discover and strengthen innate qualities within myself, qualities I also found mirrored within the themes of the sport. These connections quickly became the substance for fueling my latest artwork. Brakeman wants to hit off that. Process was evident from the start. My learning process and development in the sport were echoed in the patterns of my training and competing. The repetitious nature absorbed me with its routines and systems, acting like a metaphor for my persistence. My video pieces were the first of my bobsleigh influence works, paying particular attention on the track visualisation that drivers continuously repeat in order to learn the tracks in depth. The slow motion and gradual escalation in the sound of the bob, making its way down the track, were a contrast that I thought helped draw attention to the focus needed despite the speed and intensity of the sport. The saving of worn sandpaper used to polish the bobs race runners was initially due to finding them aesthetically pleasing. I was drawn to the texture of, and the leftover residue on the papers, invited by the patterns to reflect on the logic that regulated its repetitions. The mark making carried intrigue and told a story of effort. Discarded after use, it acted as evidence for the hard work that had been put into a now perfectly shiny runner ready to race on. The repetitious process that went into polishing that runner echoed my obsessive strife for perfection through my progression and journey. Louise Bourgeois spoke of a spiral as being a metaphor for consistency. In many ways, the use of the circle in my work has taken on the same relationship to her spirals. Originally insignificant and merely the shape the endeavour resided in it, the circular sandpaper found itself playing a dominant role in my work. You can begin at any point of a circle and turn in either direction. With no beginnings and no end, it acts as a symbol for endurance and a metaphor for cycles, mobility and circularity. My drawings in 2D and 3D, like the traces on the sandpaper, are produced by the regularities of constant procedure. Like Pollock strip paintings in terms of traces or indices, the drips, or in my case, the repetitious mark makings, are the real traces of the making of the movement. The mark is pure trace without any depictive function referring to itself and the movement of its making. When drawing, I enter an intense and meditative zone, a zone similar to that of runner polishing, training and the focus of competing. I feel like this connection is something that binds me to many different aspects of my life and I'd like to explore this further in my work.
I am particularly interested in discovering ways in which I can connect my experiences in such a unique subject matter with the themes in my work for the benefit of the audience.